a proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal. For example, we know that two to three is equivalent to four to six. That would be a proportion which is made up of the ratio two-thirds and four-sixths. If we generalize this, we could say that a, rate, a proportion is of the form A over B equals C over D. Which brings us to our next topic, means and extremes. If we have a proportion, then the A and the D part of the proportion are called the extremes. while the B and the C part of your proportion is called the means. What we see is if we have a proportion and say we cross multiply, we get AD equals BC. You see that the, me the extremes multiply together equals the means multiply together. What you might want to take note of is that the product of the extremes equals the product of the means. This is something important to know. It will it does come up on standardized tests a lot. It's also just important vocabulary to know in general, the means and the extremes. Okay, so we've talked about the three methods. We looked at all three of those with the picture problem. Before that, though, let's look at a couple examples with the means means and extremes. So I could say if the two extremes of a proportion are two and we'll say 16 and one of the means is say four what is the other mean? Well, we set our two extremes on one side. We get 2 times 16, which equals the product of the two means, 4 and the unknown, which we'll write as x. We get 32 equals 4x. This tells us that the other mean must be 8. Okay, our next topic is a geometric mean. I do want to say that for the next video, so if you're comfortable with proportions and you're comfortable with ratios, then feel free to go on to geometric mean. Otherwise, review these videos, make sure this stuff makes sense, make sure it's in your head before you go on.